name is Cheryl Lynch, and you may know me from all the mini mosaic patterns that I've designed over the last few years. And now I have a, an extension of that, and it's an alphabet set. So you can see the completed quilt behind me, and I ended up t turning it into a pattern book. So this is the book, booklet, pattern booklet, and um, it's brand new. And in it, you can, there are instructions for making the sampler or for making smaller projects. Let me review a little bit, just in case you're not familiar with um, the mini mosaic projects. You start with Steamacine, and that is um, 5517 WNN in Checkers uh, product guide and you use Steam a Seam Original. So you take one sheet for doing, these are for doing the alphabets. You take one sheet and cut it up into quarters. So you end up with four rectangles. And each rectangle then, you can put either a letter or an image. You take batik fabrics and cut them up into little squares. And that looks a little crazy, but I have designed the cutting guide and that's MM382. And you use that to cut the batiks up into three eighths inch squares. And you use that to put down on the sticky side of the steam seam. So to do this, the samplers, you would do the whole alphabet. So there's all of them placed down on the sticky uh, stabilizer. And when you steam it, you peel it up and you have either letters, a word, or um, whatever you want to spell. So the benefit of this book is it has the entire alphabet plus different ways to use the letters. So the first way is to simply make a quilt, just like we've been doing in the past. And here's... Um, using the letters and using an image that's in the book. And then an alternative is to do it the long way. So that's if you want to quilt the project. And, you know, of course, it takes a little bit longer. But I've come up with an alternative way, and that's to use canvas. So there is no sewing involved. So if you have people coming to your shop that don't want to sew, this is a perfect way to do it. And then you make your letters the same way, your mosaics the same way as you normally do, but then you put them down on the canvas. So instructions are in the book for doing this altern alternative way. Here we have, this is a 16 by 20 canvas for love. And then you can do it lengthwise too. So this is a great project again for people that don't want to do the sewing. The other projects in the book, I'll just show you. Here's one of the quilted projects, because I have a dog that I really love. Now people can make these either quilted or they can put it onto the canvas. Here's book, here's wine. Children's names make great projects, will. Now this is a canvas board. So if your customers can't find canvas, they can always use canvas board. If you live near water, sail. And then if you wanna do like a little sip and stitch night, and I've done that in the past. So if you wanna to get together for three hours in the evening and have people bring their own libations, um, they could finish a little project like that in three hours. So the book has all of these projects in it. So there's the front cover and the projects are all on the inside covers. There's my puppy. And then there's a whole bunch of text. There's actually 14 pages of text and 18 pages of letters and then images to put on the quilts and then to make the alphabet sampler and how to do the um, canvas boards. And I think the customers will really like it.